Hi everyone. In a recent video, I showed how I added a removable NVMe M.2 SSD storage to my Raspberry Pi 4 uh, in the uh, portable case that I was putting together. Um, in that video, uh, I um, showed that uh, the solution that I had found was based on this uh, NVMe uh, SSD from Team Group. Uh, and uh, the one that I have is 128 gigabytes, but this is 256 gigabytes. That's the most recent one. Uh, I had bought it on Newegg. And then I had also bought this Retop um, adapter, which would then convert uh, the NVMe uh, M.2 PCIe interface to uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2. Now this the Raspberry Pi uh, 4 has a USB 3.0, so that's fine. It, uh, and I, in the previous video, I showed this solution. But since then, um, I was trying to find a way to deal with the issues of, first of all, the, the Retop one, as you can see, does not have a case. So it was hard for me to put it in the case that I'm putting together in the, in the portable case without a dang, I mean, bumping around and getting damaged. Um, also, I was concerned about the heat that might be generated from just when when I'm writing and re reading files from this SSD. So I uh, looked around and I found this uh, other uh, solution that uh, that I that is based on the same Realtek RTL nine two one zero uh chipset uh, as you can see the um the uh retop uh adapter is also based on realtek rtl 9210 chipset so i was looking specifically for uh adapters that use this particular chipset there are others that are on the market but according to these articles uh that i had shared in the previous video the um the the real uh the real tech um adapter um the real tech chipset is apparently runs cooler and draws less power according to this article from notebookcheck.net and also according to uh this other this other um um this other uh, article from seed studio they were um, uh, mentioning some of the um, some of the uh, the RTL 9210 being more recent, a more recent chip, and a more recent bridge solution, you know, PCIe to USB bridge solution. Um, so, anyways, I uh, wanted to stay with uh, this uh, Realtek RTL 9210 chipset because that's what I'm experimenting with. So I found this one. Uh, and this is Lapbind, Lapbind, NVMe M.2 HDDS case, full aluminum enclosure, and as you can see, it um, it does uh, say that it uses the RTL 9210. It is also less expensive. It's about uh, this one is 1586, and it's in silver. It comes in silver, and um, it also comes with uh, a cable a usb cable and a, and a screwdriver and some uh some some additional uh items that were in there like a thermal pad and so on um but it also comes in black but i bought the silver one the black one is a little bit more expensive and as you can see it comes i think i'm not sure where it's shipped from but it takes about one to three weeks to receive it so it took a little bit of time for it, for me to get it, but as you can see, it is uh, that it is saying that it's based on the chipset that I was looking for. So I took my NVMe SSD out of the retop adapter and put it in this uh, enclosure. Put it in this enclosure, and and as you can see now, I have placed it in the case. Um, right there you can see the um that it's uh, sitting right there and it's powered on and i'm going to remove this fan and as you can see the 
USB. Uh, 3.0 cable comes out here and then it's uh, connected to another cable that comes from the so this is just an extension cable and then I'm routing the cable this cable came with the uh, LUPBIND adapter so uh, I'm routing this under the Raspberry Pi and then looping it around and then bringing it here and it goes in and and powers up the so it's right there uh, and now it's sitting on top of the so this is the the power bank and it extends all the way to the other end and so now this aluminum enclosure is sitting on top of the base of the power bank and normally what I do is I run this case uh, with the lid open and I put the fan so like so and uh, this fan is now blowing air and keeping not only the Raspberry Pi uh, cool but it's also blowing air on top of the SSD and it should uh, help keep the SSD also cool. Uh, for this particular case I plan to run it uh, with the lid open so um, that's already um, the configuration that uh, that I will be using it and it'll, it'll, until later uh, I'll deal with some of the other um, uh, issues once I have done some experimentation but this was the one of the final pieces of hardware that I wanted to add to the case to the portable case and I think with this now I can I can uh, um, record audio and record um, video onto the um, onto the hard hard drive so switching to the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 desktop as you can see um, I am the Raspberry Pi has recognized the NVMe drive and in this window I have FFmpeg um, recording audio uh, so here's FFmpeg um, and as you can see I am telling FFmpeg to save the audio onto the um, NVMe SSD which is connected to the Raspberry Pi through the USB adapter and um, this will record audio for an hour and uh, it'll timestamp the file and it'll produce an mp3 so um, it is recording and if I go to the, um, the NVMe drive and look you can see it it is recording and putting some files in there so um, so far this is about all I've done with uh, with this new uh, enclosure but I think it will work out uh, better for uh, what I have in mind so that I can not only remove it when I need to uh, but the way it fits into this case uh, it works really well because the case and the way the cables are wedged keeps everything tight and uh, there's plenty there's enough space over there for for it to fit the uh, enclosure and having an, a, that enclosure it it uh, it helps with dissipating the heat from the SSD so I don't have any long-term results or any performance results using uh, this particular one but um, the all I know right now is that it recognizes uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 will recognize it for me and um, and uh, I'm able to save audio files onto it so for that uh, for this I can I can go ahead and experiment with it I'm not again I'm not recommending any of this uh, the, the reason I record these videos is for my own memory and I can refer back to them but if uh, the information is useful to you I, uh, I urge you to do your own due diligence and uh, research and make sure that um, this is something if you purchase it that this is something that uh, that's you know is good for you especially uh, these two articles um, are were useful in terms of you know uh, learning about the alternative chipsets that are on the market but uh, I wanted to share this information uh, with, uh, with you just in case uh, others uh, might find it useful 
hope to catch you in the next uh, video and thank you for watching take care